The Fat Ox has a history of uh, great meals, but of course now they are going to have history of some great drinks thanks to this young gentleman right here, Christian, uh, who is also the author of this book right here. And, and so this book came out when? 2019. And, and so tell me a little bit about The Bar Chef. Uh, Bar Chef is a book that I created in Los Angeles. Uh, I worked there for about 25 years and I worked for a restaurant group uh, that was owned by Suzanne Gowen, a James Beard award winning chef, best chef in the United States. And everybody uh, was writing books and I was like, you know what? I should write one too. <laughs> <laughs> so, because we understand over the years, the uh, handcrafted cocktails has really taken off, but you have mastered it to the point where you sit with restaurants and you pretty much develop the drinks to go with the meals. And that's, that's what you idea. do with the Fat Ox, yes, right? Yes, that's the idea. And how long does it take you usually to come up with drinks to go with those meals? It's a process. Like uh, when you ask my wife, like my mind goes somewhere. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm thinking about other things. And so basically you look at recipes that the chefs are making. And then I take those and like rip them apart. And you'll see it in this cocktail, particularly like the chef uh, Matt Carter at the Fat Ox. He had this uh, recipe with uh, chimichurri, little pistachio. And I was like, you know what? I want to put the chimichurri in the glass. I want the pistachio on the rim, throw in tequila or so, and then see how it goes. Feel horrible. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, let me rethink this. And then, like, a couple of days later, I was like, you know what? I should put the chimichurri on the rim, pistachio in the glass, and, and you got yourself wow. a cocktail, and that could work great. And, and, the and of course, does uh, Chef Matt let you just kind of create your own, or does he sit yes. with you and go, no, no, no. you know what, Christian, I want this, I want that to go with this? Or you, he says, taste this and then go. So, once upon a time, it used to be like that many, many years ago. Yeah. But, like, now they just give me a menu and I look at it and I was like, oh, this would be really cool with that and that would be cool with that. And like look at all these different flavors. And technically speaking, like I don't have to take a recipe from him. I can just look at like what he's cooking and then say like, hey, you know what? This is really nice to pair with. And then like you look at the different fruits and veggies and like and try to put in a cocktail. Yeah. Well, if you ever need yeah. anybody to come and taste the cocktail and the food at the Fat Ox, I am done working around noon. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to do something like that, the list. number one list. Yeah. Also, too, what I love is that you have this amazing accent. Uh, I think was it Texan or Oklahoma? <laughs> Uh, Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> no, Minnesota. <laughs> Where no, are you from? Uh, Netherlands, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Size, yeah. So very cool. So yeah. that's what we're talking about here. Yeah. So okay, we're going to make a drink here and uh, this is going to be fun. And uh, Christian, you're saying that I will be able to master yes. a like, drink if I read the book. Of course, what I'm gonna do of course, of course. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to set the book yeah. down so they can see yeah, what we're going to do. All right. all right, so what do so we you got? got your shakers. Okay. Like, uh, divide it in two, pull it up. All right. We're going to build in the short shaker. And okay. the reason, like, a lot of people like to build in the tall shaker, but I like to see where I'm at because right now I'm with you and it's fine and stuff. But, right. like, if you're two rows deep at the bar and somebody's just like, hey, I want a Cosmo. Hey, I want this. Hey, I want that. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me make that for you. And you're like, oh, where I'm at. And then you shake the drink and the glass is half full. And you're like, that's never Never good. right. Yeah. So, okay, so we know we're so going. We're going to build a short shaker. All right. I'm going to make a tequila drink. Okay. So you can have come up. Might as well, right? Right. And you have this little measurement cup. Okay. This is called a jigger. You All know right. Why the jig I know the jigger. You know why it's called a jigger? Uh, you know, I really don't know why it's called a jigger. I, I had a feeling. <laughs> 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 so when the English were sailing the oceans back in the day, part of their rents, uh, their, their monies, they get paid in, in liquor. Yeah. Depending what time area you look at, it's ah. either brandy or rum. And they thought it was kind of a short pour, so they named it after the shortest mast on the English boats, which was called? The Jigger. Yes. All right. <laughs> you okay. are Let's get on going it. here. Oh, All right. Are, sorry. Okay. Like, gotta, uh, like, I know. Oh, okay. So oh. where are we at? All right. I like to start with the liquor first. Okay. Because to I me, like that. The cocktail is a, not necessarily about the liquor. It's also about the ingredients that okay. I make in-house, right? All right. So I use a, a local brand, uh, Corrido. Okay. No additives, and we're going to do an ounce and a half. Okay, I like that. I like how we use the taller jigger, right? Oh, of okay. course. Like, All right. You keep going while I'm doing this, so I'll start right. following you. I love it. And then we gotta, you flip the jigger around, and the other side you have a one ounce pour. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, it slipped. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Okay. All right. So then what right, do we have? We're going to do then one ounce of lime juice. And one ounce of lime juice. That's, That's the other way around. Okay, side. keep going. And then we got a little pistachio syrup. All right. And a pistachio syrup, we're going to do right three quarters, which is the line right above the top. All right. Now, this is important because if you messed up the lime and sweetener, then you get a, a cocktail that's not so good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. okay. A little cucumber, quarter ounce. All right. Just a squeeze. Just a squeeze of that? Yep. Okay. All right. And basically, this is your cocktail. And that's it right there. And we're going to rim the glass first. So okay. We, so, like, we don't have to do that after we're done shaking. Got it. I cut out a little wedge in the lemon. Okay. And what you're going to do is to kind of 
half it. Like, so you're going to rub it on the glass That's a little bit? That's the new thing now, not to do all the way around, right? Yeah, because, no, right. like, this is the thing. Like, what if you don't like it? I'm like, you know what? Just drink it from the other side. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> all right, so what else do you have planned going on at the Fat Ox? What else is there that's happening? Uh, well, we just uh, launched a new cocktail menu, and that's kind of what we're going with right now. Like, all farm to table, and people have to get used to it because they have never seen that before. Or, like, you have. You're a, a traveling man. Right. Uh, but, you know, not everybody has. Okay. Um, and it's, it's been going really well, actually. So right, it's nice. Great. Let me get you some ice. All right, get me some ice in there. All right, as we start to finish this off, you know you can find the Fat Ox I'm gonna put right there at the corner well. of Lincoln and uh, Scottsdale Road. Amazing place to stop into. Uh, the chef's there. The drinks are fantastic. And then what are we going to shake, right? We yeah, we're going to shake. Put it over. Put, yeah, you put it right? on top and you make a little line put, on the side. Right? Like that? So, so you like see that. I have a little line? Yep. Right. You're going to have a line too. You're going to flip it over. Okay. You know reason? Because if you shake like this, yeah. it flies out, it lands on the camera, right. and nobody's going to be happy. Like that, so. Yeah. Just like you, yeah, you, you hold it out. You shake, right? You're having a good time. I like it. There you go. All right. All right. Uh, where can they find the book too, Christian? Oh, you can find Christian. it at uh, Barnes & Noble. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it anywhere. Uh, anywhere. It, was, it was actually top 20 best culinary books on Amazon. So I love it. There Little, you go. Uh, Hawthorne Strainer. All right. Let's go ahead and pour it out there. And again, as I mentioned, you got to stop by the Fat Ox for some great food and some great yeah. cocktails. So, all right. There you go. go pour it I have right faith there. in you, man. Thank you very much. You got this. You got Look this. Look at that. See? Mm. You didn't know what you're getting into. Man, this looks good. That's right. Oh, it does. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to do too much yeah. there. There we go. And keep going. Ah, oh, awesome. Bam. All right. Finish it little, off. Got a little garnish. A little garnish. We're all set. A little cucumber. Christian, thank you very much. You got it, Brad. Delicious. Now, don't drink it all at once. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers. Cheers.